Hey, 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 happy day 75 of the BP challenge, blood pressure challenge for me. Health, lifestyle, business, whatever your 90 day goal is, 90 day push, 90 day challenge for you. Today I want to talk about, and this applies to whatever you're doing, whatever your <clears throat> challenge goal is, and that's the topic of masterminds. I could talk about masterminds probably for an entire day. I've actually done long coaching sessions and long um, event trainings on this entire topic because it's such a big topic. Um, if you'd like more information about it or if you've never heard of it, go ahead and hit me up in the comments below and I can send you a couple of my recordings or something that might help to explain this to you. If you've never heard of it before or never been exposed to it, I was first exposed to it in Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich like 30 or maybe even 40 years ago. And I dabbled with it. I dabbled with the principle. I dabbled with the idea, but I didn't do it consistently. <clears throat> it's one of those things that we hear about, we know about, kind of like the law of attraction. You hear about it, but you don't really consciously apply it in your life. At least most of us don't. Well, the concept behind the mastermind, according to Napoleon Hill, is that we can tap into a higher level of intelligence by um, meditating and imagining that we are with a group of very wise advisors. And we can make up our own group of advisors with whoever we want. For example, on mine, I have Tony Robbins, you know, I've, I've been to Tony Robbins things. I've been following Tony Robbins for 40 years, but I don't personally know Tony Robbins, right? But he's on my mastermind advisory group. My dad, my deceased father, my dad died five years ago. He's on my mastermind group. And who we have as our panel or board of directors or advisors for our imaginary mastermind is entirely up to us. Now, I'm actually listening to an audio book by a friend of mine named Victoria M. Gallagher called from her book, The Positive Law of Attraction. And she takes us to a whole new level. I was listening to chapter, it's chapter 19 or 20 today. And she says, in addition to, I always had mine <coughs> from Napoleon Hill. My, my group of advisors was always like at a big round wooden table, like in a boardroom, like from, or King Arthur of the Knights of the Round Table. I always had a giant round table and whoever I wanted would just pop into the meeting, depending on the topic or the problem or the situation that I was trying to solve for myself. Uh, and she incorporates the idea of creating your own environment, your own laboratory or your own, I thought I might have like a kitchen or a condo or something for mine um, or a luxury high rise building or a castle or something. I'm going to do this now today, this activity, because I just read, I just listened to it this morning as I was waking up, but I thought what a fun way to take it to the next level. So depending on what it is that you're trying to achieve, that would be the group of advisors that you would call in and meditate on. So I'm trying to lower my blood pressure. So who am I going to have a mastermind group with and where am I going to have it? Well, I'm probably going to have it in one of my favorite fields at the state park or something or at, a, at one of the pavilions at the state park I like to walk in or a place by the waterfalls that I just love to go sit, a quiet, peaceful place because I want to reduce my stress and reduce my blood pressure. And I'm probably going to invite people like, oh, who would I invite in? Tony Robbins, because he's good about stress. Um, <clears throat> somebody from Mayo Clinic. Um, one of my friends who's a life coach. Things like that. I'm going to decide who do I want to tap into. They don't have to be people that are alive. They can be people that have gone before. I do a lot of masterminds when I'm trying to be innovative and creative. And I invite people like Benjamin Franklin. Now, th this is kind of woo-woo for a lot of people. But I ask myself as I'm visualizing, what would these different people say, what kind of insight and impact or input would they give me on the topic or the question at hand? So for my blood pressure, I would sit in a quiet, relaxing, peaceful place and invite different people to come and join me. Maybe I'm having a picnic in a, a field of flowers or something and different advisors are coming in and telling me the best ways for me to reduce my blood pressure. Not for anybody else, but the best ways for me. So this whole theory and topic of a mastermind, if you'd like more information about it, um, Napoleon Hill, I want to say it's chapter 12, it could be 11, in Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich, but for Victoria Gallagher's book, Positive Law of Attraction, I think it's 19 or 20, where she talks about um, how to actually create your own environment to invite these people in to help solve problems and tap into the super conscious, which is also the mastermind. And we get to create our own masterminds of who we want to tap into. Um, so today, what I would like you to do, your challenge for today, if you've never done this or even if you have done this, 
ask yourself and write it down in your little journal who is on your mastermind for this particular goal or objective this particular 90 day goal and challenge and then for extra credit spend 15 20 minutes visualizing interacting or asking the question of what is the, the next thing or what is the most important thing I need to do to achieve my 90 day goal my 90 day challenge push ask them just meditate on it for 15 20 minutes and see what kind of information or intuition or ideas come up to you share those in the comments below if you need any help with this hit me up otherwise that's it mastermind create your own invite whoever you want and spend a little bit of time reflecting and asking them the best way to get to your 90-day goal that's it have an awesome day and i'll of course be with you tomorrow